Hello and welcome to the Y2P and V podcast, where I, Soraz, and other guests discuss anything and everything surrounding Y2P and V. This is episode 6 featuring The Epic Rob and DWL 1993. Both of these guys have been in the community for a decade now, and I'm thrilled to have the chance to speak to them about their thoughts on Y2P and V. Rob, actual name Kyle, pioneered the current collab format we have all seen through the years. Aside from classic collabs like the Popcorn Collab, Rob has made plenty of other amazing vids both on his main and alt, which can be found in the description below. I encourage you to go check out his channel if you haven't already, and to go watch his most recent series vid, Dance of Rob. Next is DWL, actual name Dan, who is an undeniable legend within the community. His videos continue to impress and give inspiration, whether it be from older videos like Spies Like You, or newer ones like Cheese Scan 4. I implore everyone to go check out both of their channels, and to go follow them on Twitter. Dan's Twitter is DWL, spelled out, and Rob's is at that Rob Gooey. In this episode, we reminisce after a decade of Y2PMV, talk about our feelings towards YouTube and Y2PMV, and host the first edition of the Y2PMV podcast roast of Zarlable. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy. Also, quick editor's note. Later in the episode, we talk about our influences and speak a lot about Anthony. Anthony is Faison, aka Duke Onkled Nukem, for those of you who don't know. All right, so we'll begin the same way I began all of them. I guess we'll start with Kyle or Rob. Uh, what's your origin with Y2P and Y2P and V? How'd you find out about it? How'd you get into it? Oh, God. Um, so I am a video game nut just all around, and I was on a website called, oh, God, Cheat Planet. Um, back when I was like a little kid in middle school, I used to like religiously use cheat planet to look at video game cheats and shit like that. And it changed into another website. Oh God, what was it called? It was called like, I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It changed into another website. I could probably figure it out. Yeah, it should, probably should know, but basically they posted some like CDI thing, right? They, they, they made me aware of what CDI was. Okay. And then I went on YouTube and I just started to find YouTube poop and it all just kind of snowballed from there, really. <laughs> yeah. That's that's kind of the gist of it. I, uh, that's funny. Found deeper cut and you know just card just finding more and more YouTube poop stuff and eventually YTP and me. Yeah, really that's I just got into it that way. And, and then, then from then there, doing my stuff. Hmm? And then from there, you just wanted you just started to make stuff because you thought it was funny and you wanted to get into it. Well, um, yeah, no, I, I messed around with Movie Maker a bit here and there, but I think the real kind of big drive for it was as I had a friend named Purple Sky, I'm sure you, you know of. Um, he kind of was doing the same thing. We both went to the same private Christian school, <laughs> and we were both fucking YouTube poop fans and trying to make YouTube poop ITPMV, and, like, you know, we kind of helped each other out, go through that process overall and get Vegas and make videos pretty stupid <laughs> that's pretty cool honestly having yeah. like having an IRL friend that's also into Y2P is like a big plus honestly so how about you Dan what's your origins uh mine's a lot less exciting than that I suppose um I partially because I really can't pinpoint an exact time where I was just watching Y2P all the time um honestly probably just being you know some dumb little kid on the internet and just happened to run across it and just being like what is this what is this what <laughs> like this is ridiculous um and kind of just went on from there kind of like he said you know he found people like deeper cut and walrus guy you know crobo productions and it just it just set off i I don't know at what point I clicked in, like, oh, I'm going to do these too, and, you know, just got that great Windows Movie Maker, and... Hell yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> I... That's where it all um, starts. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, none of my YouTube poops are up anymore, um, but, uh, yeah, back in 2007, I, you know, funny CDI... Uh, Link says I'm gay, you know, cool stuff like that. Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of then it just kind of set off. I I wish I could remember that exact, you know, what got me hooked, but I I just really can't, unfortunately. Mm. Do you wish you could still go back and look at those old white peas? 
<laughs> kind of yes, kind of no. Um, yeah. I wish I had the option to. Uh, don't delete your videos, kids. It's it's awful. Yeah, um, please. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> I have so many videos that, like I said, I probably never want to see again, but it just sucks that I don't have that option to be like, oh, this is where I started. Because, uh, I mean, even though my first YTP and V I made in Sony Vegas just hit 10 years old, I made YTP and Vs. And, and Yeah, I know. I didn't think I was going to do this for this long. Um, I made YTP and Vs in uh, Windows Movie Maker, and they're just long gone, and I hardly even remember them <laughs> anymore. I just Holy wish shit. I could, like, look at them and be like, yep, yeah, this is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> So you made so you said you made white PMVs in Movie Maker, the, like, or like as close as you could. Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. I probably just had, God, I, I know I made there was an awful Metal Gear one. Uh, oh God, I just had like, <laughs> oh God, I just had like the Colonel saying ridiculous over and over over some <laughs> shitty techno song I found, which is you know it's funny because that's how I got popular with TF2 and techno. Apparently that's the thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But yeah, like as close as you could with Y two P and V. Obviously, no um, pitch shifting or anything like that. God, that's <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think everybody at one point or another was making like really dumb. Not necessarily Movie Maker. Like I had like some, I had some shitty video editing software that came with like some capture card I had, like the Dazzle capture <laughs> card, and I yeah. tried to use that, and <laughs> I didn't realize that you had to render it. So I was trying to upload, I was trying to upload like the project file and it took, me, oh, no. it took me like months to figure out. But, um, <laughs> yeah. So, so when did you guys start talking then like, or develop, like when, when did you start meeting people through the community? Oh God. I know if, if I can speak. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I knew purple sky and purple sky became friends with Quaid Max. And I kind of just joined a Skype chat that Quay was also in the Haas chat, if you've ever heard of that. Mm -hmm. That's some old, <laughs> old shit. So Hoskins just kind of had like this whole just YouTube poop chat. And I was there for a bit, like I don't even know if a year, maybe like six months, maybe not. But we, we broke off of that chat pretty quick. And yeah, that's, that's kind of how it all went. Mm. Just stuck with them forever. Um... Yeah, so, so that had like some of the people who are in the like the mech oh, yeah. chat now no, no. Phazon, Hoboware was there i believe at a point axarod was there that's Quake crazy was there, obviously uh oh, man good handful of people okay i i've been meaning to ask for a while because i've been curious how, how where is like the the um what am i trying to think of the overlap of the mario paint composer community and y2p <laughs> because there seems to be a lot of people who are friends with like other <laughs> mario paint composers oh i know anthony was a mario painter um star used mario paint um i just kind of like invaded their chat to be honest i don't know how probably just because i was a friend of a couple of them but like mm. i made friends with people like named like kitchen maniac and all these other people who are strictly mario painters so like yeah who who else? Axarod, Levi, Mario Painter, Balloon, um, Eric, one of my friends I visit quite often now is a Mario Painter. So yeah, no, I, I know a good handful of those guys still. I think it was just kind of like overlap, you know. Mario Paint's kind of all about making music and weird limitations in this strange program. So oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess it just kind of you know similar interests kind of thing. Yeah, that that's that's always interests me. So um, before you started. Y2P or Y2P and V, had you done any video or audio editing before that, or was this kind of like your first time doing it? For me, no. I think for Dan, Dan did. Mm. I, I actually did, funny enough. Um, God, I don't even remember. I was probably in like fourth grade or something, uh, just dicking around on the computer. And my uh, older brother used to have... Uh, all the like army men games downloaded on her computer for some reason <laughs> and i found out like how to you know find all the audio files from the game and all the music and everything and like just messing around <laughs> like like made really bare bones youtube poop now that i think about it mm. like 
I would take audio, like, no sentence mixing or anything like that, but I would take audio clips and, like, have them talking and then just end the conversation and, like, a gunshot and someone screaming, just <laughs> stupid shit like that. <laughs> and I would just sit there and do that for hours and just laugh my ass off. I think that's part of the reason why YouTube poop, like, you know, really shot out for me because I just, like, I just love nonsensical dumb shit like that, I guess. <laughs> So you've just always been, like, a fan of that kind of shit, even since oh, yeah. you were, like, younger? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and just cool. I just like the video j- game. Pretty much. Video game? That was... <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah. Ho- oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I was just going to say, yeah, just Hotel Mario and, like, uh, Zelda CDI games were just enough to fucking blow oh, yeah. my mind and my <laughs> brain enough just to oh, be, yeah. like completely obsessed with i know it. still to this Dude. day honestly man i i just recently played that shit on hardware <laughs> man it was so fucking stupid i loved it I, I, I like i've never i i've seen like so little gameplay of the cdi zelda games that oh, they're like, horrible oh, oh, yeah. gameplay all the way through <laughs> so looking back after 10 years of doing y2pmv uh i would say both of you have been pretty much like an essential part of like what what y2pmv is today or what 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 do you think do you think you've been like an essential part of what y2pmv is today um uh i'm very humble all the time um Hmm. but honestly probably uh just be you, you could just look at all the fads that came out of my videos back in you know 2010 2011 um yeah like stuff like that uh I mean, my videos used to get a whole lot of views. I I know, you know, people obviously enjoyed them through the years. Uh, I don't know if essential is the word, but I mean, I know I ha- definitely have a presence within the Y2P and V community. At, at least used to. I feel like I'm kind of kind of in the back of everybody's minds nowadays because I'm hardly around. But I I, mm-hmm. I think I had my I had my my peak, I believe. Yeah. Does that worry you that you've had your peak, like continuing to make videos? Not really, because this has always just been for fun. It what kind of mm. happens happens after I upload them. To be quite honest, um, yeah. I I still enjoy watching everybody else's videos. I I like. I mean, I enjoy when people enjoy my video. Like, I, I it's, it doesn't bother me that too much. I'm I, I'm far too busy outside the internet to <laughs> really. I don't know. To Just, care. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, basically. How about you, Rob? Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to be nearly as humble here, I guess. I'd say, yeah. Um, back in the day, I believe people were quite impressed that I could mask well, mm. which oh, all yeah. it took was just some tedium. Yeah, I, that's all about all I did. I didn't even do much. I just masked <laughs> and people were semi-impressed. But other than that, like, it's definitely the collabs. I mean, I can't, I, of course. Mm-hmm, sure. I, I really kind of springboarded that into popularity, I say. I didn't even start that stuff, but I kind of made the format that people went with forward. Like, I, I'd say I kind of, like, shaped that for people. Maybe that's a little bit too, you know, egotistical. To say oh, no, no, no. I, I, I don't think that. so at all. I think I did. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> like, every collab, even to this day, straight up i don't i don't want to say copies right. but but they copy exactly what he did yeah like the I mean, set up the descriptions everything <laughs> rob started that yeah i just wanted to give everyone a piece of what they had to say you know like i hate that in a lot of collabs it's kind of like uh in the comments it's like a, a pissing match of like oh this is the best part this is uh-huh. the best part and i wanted yeah. to like you know everyone who worked on this we all worked on this together i want everyone's right. piece and I wanted it in the description, and that was really the main thing with it that I think people copied, which is a good thing. I think everyone should have their piece. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I guess that's all I really have to say about that. So for starting those collabs, was that just kind of like, oh, you know, this song seems really cool. It's long enough. Everybody has ideas. <laughs> or was was, it's, it's, was it was it just one person's idea, or was it really like... funny you ask about the fucking <laughs> the start of the collabs because. My alt has two disastrous, like, like probably you shouldn't even watch, just, just 
just horrible fucking <laughs> joke collapse. The What Is Love Club was literally a joke club. It was a it fucking was. joke. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously at all. At all. And it just yeah. came out the way it did. It wasn't yeah. supposed to be serious at all. I, and we just kind of went for it. I, I was, because it I was, was so there. good. I was there when it uh, came up. And yeah, it was everybody... Everybody else that was in that chat, it was just a big joke. Like, this is going to be so fucking stupid. And, like, it was just, and it just exploded. (laughs) And it came out so amazing. I love watching that, even to this day. Yeah. So many people just took it so much, like, more serious than they expected them to. And it just turned out good. It was weird. Yeah. (laughs) And it it amuses me to this day to see people, like, complaining about Ness fanboys parking <laughs> so bad and it's just like this was a joke and it's Ness fanboy <laughs> but I still get comments like to this day about oh god Ness fangirl ruined the whole the thing, whole thing. <laughs> it's bad now because yeah. of Ness fangirl I can't believe the collab of person why'd you even invite there. them get them out of here <laughs> I get so many comments it's great so moving forward for like the collabs after that did you guys pretty much i'll take them like a bit more seriously it's like oh oh cool. you kidding me oh, yeah. i like i like regiment just okay it's gonna be on the same day we're gonna get yeah. all done it's gonna be the, i i went to yeah i i just buckled <laughs> got, down and made it way too serious it that. got so it got so strict i think that's why i mean no offense nice, that's why nice. the, that's why the last one ended up not happening it, it got super strict and yeah i'd say the last one didn't happen more so just because like the people who I was relying on just weren't getting it done. True. And like, yeah, I was just like, whatever. I don't want to get replacements. I guess we're just done here. I made it three years in a row on the same date. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> what was what was the last one going to be? It was going to be Always. By always. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> I, I actually uploaded my part on my all. So that's you can even see Yamas' part. Yamas, Yamas uploaded, uploaded his part. His part. <laughs> God, that's funny. <laughs> what, what what was your favorite collab then that you hosted do you think hmm. i think i mean the what is love one is so classic and so like fun that it just became what it is it's kind of hard not to pick that one but i really did like the popcorn one mm-hmm. but there's a little error that i always notice that i don't really like so i'd probably just say what is love mm. Yeah, but well, all of them are pretty good. Like, well, pretty good. I mean, they're they're like, I I constantly go back and rewatch them just because it's like, damn, <laughs> like th- <laughs> those those three through the fire and flames collab, I consider to be like the best collabs in my opinion. But I, there's probably some others that I'm forgetting. I really like Handmasters too. Oh yeah, the, the uh, Transformers, Transformers, Transformers and Calling. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Those those those, those were really nice. cool. There, there's some more I could probably name, uh, but yeah, I don't fucking, really remember. Off the top fucking right Phazon's part for the Transformers collab. <laughs> oh, fuck. It's the classic. <laughs> it's really good. So, looking back Pat, for the last 10 years, we'll start with you, Dan. What's been your favorite fad throughout the years? Just in general? Yeah. Um, I, I, I still gotta throw it to the, uh, to the Skrillex tribute fads i those it was just everybody was just having fun like that like nobody cared everyone was basically making a phase on video Mm -hmm. uh (laughs) they were they were just fun as shit like everybody like i I guess i shouldn't say everybody but so many people were just doing uh skrillex tributes (laughs) and it was just a blast there's so much so many good ones came out of that yeah yeah um it probably since it's fresh in my mind i will probably i'll throw a shout out to the obama uh fad (laughs) well that shit's just insane (laughs) that that blew up so big that was ridiculous yeah and it brought back so many dead people i think was the best part yeah that that definitely is the best part of the obama fad for sure but like oh man like there was like one day where there was literally a hundred videos added to the Mm -hmm. uh erb obama playlist and i was like oh my god a hundred (laughs) videos in a fucking day that's insane yeah it's pretty ridiculous yeah what about you rob what's been your favorite fad i do really like skrillex um as well but i'm not gonna pick that per se but i just want to give a shout out to it because like it was it was really fun and a lot of people let loose i feel and it was really silly 
Um, but I've always been a very interested in kind of what mad makers are doing. They make a lot of absolute garbage, if I'm being honest, <laughs> from time to time. But I really, I'm really infatuated with their sources. And obviously, like my probably favorite one of all time is Charge Man Ken. I got <laughs> so fucking obsessed with Charger and Kin for so long. I still think it's like the fucking best thing ever. I have a DVD of the whole series. I think that that was probably my favorite fad if I had to pick. That's that's pretty cool. For the for the Skrillex fad, did didn't Mick Mango start it or was his just like the most yeah. popular? I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Mick, no, yeah. Mick Mick Mango's did the first. I did the second, and then immediately Zarable did one right after me. <laughs> we like. Even use the same sources in a couple parts because we did at we made them at the same exact time and almost <laughs> uploaded them at the same time by complete accident. God, that's funny. Now, sp- speaking of Zarable, um, I might be misremembering, but what didn't so didn't you Dan start the uh, electro fad just by like picking a random song oh, yeah. from like Zarable's playlist or whatever? He basically he sent me. Yeah, it was a playlist. He sent me like this download that had a bunch of songs in it, and I just like, oh, I like this song, <laughs> and I did. Yeah, it just came out of it, and he was going to do it, I guess. <laughs> and he didn't tell me like afterwards that he was going to do that song, and I felt really awful. But <laughs> and then yeah, that that happened. That's a video, I guess. Yeah, that was always one of my favorite collabs. Like both, well, both of them, just because it wasn't like it wasn't Keegan. <laughs> You know, yes, <laughs> true. But yeah, but what do you think of the collab fever? Then, like, uh, do you think it was a positive thing or a, like a net negative thing for White's PMV? I guess we'll start with you, Rob. Well, I think it's a positive thing now, but when I was uh, a youngin, it made me irritated. To be honest, I didn't, I didn't like how much it exploded. And I felt like people were eating up songs that I kind of wanted to do, but I. I was being pessimistic, and I was a teenager. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean that you just pretty much summed up like everybody in the white PMV community. We were teenagers. <laughs> we were pessimistic. Yep. Yeah, I, I I think it was a positive thing, but I <laughs> I guess personally, I, I I wish it didn't affect me because I made some really bad collabs. But you know, whatever. People make bad shit. Oh, yeah. I, I I think it also kind of maybe took away a little bit from some people who would make their own video, mm. perhaps, instead of doing a bunch of parts, maybe it made some people go out of steam a little bit faster than they'd like to, maybe, but, like, eh, at the same time, it was probably keeping people making videos who would not have made a video, you know, they could make a small little part. Yeah. Like, I know at points I could only make, like, a collab part, and I didn't really want to make a full video, so. Right. Yeah. It's it's a little bit of a mix, I'd say, but I'd say it's mostly positive, just keeping it going, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, at what point did you kind of realize that you just weren't quitting White's PMV and you're just staying with it? Because... Damn, honestly, uh, back in 2013 when I really got started making stuff, like I did not expect it to be going until 2020. Well, I mean, I expected it to keep going, but I guess I didn't expect to keep making vids. So, like, at what point did you decide or realize, I guess? Um, For me, probably, honestly, in, like, probably 2013 because that's when I probably actually legit tried to actually stop. Mm-hmm. Um, like I just released Spies Like You with TV Box, and uh, I, I like I don't know. I just felt like I was done. Like, not that I didn't want to make more. I just felt like I I don't know. I just wanted to move on. Um, but I I just can't. Even if I didn't upload anything for quite a while after that, um, the whole time I was still doing stuff in Vegas, just messing around with Vegas, just. Mm-hmm yeah i think that was around so i would say about 2013 14 i was just like i i'm just gonna always come back to this no matter what (laughs) can't get away and how about you rob i'd say about 2015 when the collab fell through i kind of like figured i was you know about done or wasn't gonna really make them in or the you know actively try to make them but you know 
I get ideas. I dick around in Vegas, and the voila video was made, and I didn't even think it was going to be. So it just kind of has happened ever since like 2015. I'll just put a video out because I got bored one day, <laughs> and in two days I made a whole video. Like, yeah, it's just stuff like that. I just mm-hmm. mess around Vegas, and the new video is there. Yeah. Do you think that's partially because of like the friends you've made in the community? Definitely. Just like everybody, everybody oh, feeds sure. off each other. Definitely. I wouldn't. I would not be making. I think videos if it wasn't for like people like Anthony who are making. Like Anthony made some kick ass video. I mean, he's always making kick ass videos. But like two years ago, he was going <laughs> really hard. Or a year ago, I can't remember exactly. But he has like a big streak where he was just making crazy shit constant and like uh, yeah no i would i would not have like made my last castlevania video at all if it wasn't for him what he's been doing recently oh yeah yeah i would i would kind of say the same thing um but for me like i was kind of it was kind of weird for me because when when skype kind of collapsed you know and everybody was moving to whatever other platform before discord i just really wasn't in any chat so i was just kind of doing it for the fun of it and then like around 2018 hit and then i started talking to more people and then i was like holy shit like this is great and then i also yeah like creative streaks just kind of hit you sometimes oh yeah but my videos i'm well either uploading or working on right this moment uh they're all videos i started back in like 2014 15 that i just left alone for this long and then it just sounded like oh i'm gonna work on this and then suddenly i just made a video in a day like inspiration Mm. and it just comes out of nowhere it's 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 crazy sometimes it's just like oh i I made a video (laughs) here it is out of nothing it just just hits you randomly yeah 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 i let many a project sit forever and then randomly gets resurrected for no reason as well it just just happens yeah, I'm hoping I could get to that point because right now I'm 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 constantly just looking for new projects to work on, and then I get like sometimes I'll just get to the point that I actually like just forget about them, and then I'm like ah oh, whatever, put it in an unfinished compilation and call it good. I'm pretty I'm pretty bad about that. So looking back at some of the projects you did start then like at 2014 2015. Uh, are you ever like disgusted about like some of the video editing things that you've done or has, has your like <laughs> yes. video editing always stayed consistent? Uh, man, I, I, I get, and I'm sure Dan has the same sentiments. Like I constantly throughout my career making these videos will notice one little, one little smidgen of thing that's not even that bad at all. That like just irks me to this day, like here and there, just literally nothing sometimes. And I'm just like, God, oh, God, I wish I would have fixed this or done this instead. I mean, it doesn't really tear me up too bad, but I just notice like little things. And I'm like, Ugh. I yeah. I don't think I have one video up that I don't notice at least one mistake in it. And I hate it. it. Nine times out of ten, like, I, well, I guess I shouldn't say nine times out of ten, but every now and then I, it'll be a mistake that I see before I upload. I'm like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. And it's just out of pure laziness. And it's just like, why didn't I just fix that? Why, why did I leave that? And now that's what I see every single time I watch it. <laughs> Huh. that's funny it's the opposite for me i always notice it after it's up and i'm like fuck <laughs> some some sometimes for sure but like a lot of times i just out of pure laziness i just want to be done like i just want to upload something be done with it put my hands yeah. in the air and it's just like i, I should have just fixed it it would have took five minutes <laughs> no i always miss them even my castlevania video I made recently there's one blatant ass mistake like, God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, but you can't kick yourself too hard for that. I mean, oh, I don't usually no, care that I, much. I at after the end of the day. after a bit, yeah, I just it, yeah. I, I, I still, got, I've always gotten over it. I still mm-hmm. notice it every time, but it doesn't bother me as much. Mm. If it's just a little visual hiccup, I don't care. But like I was talking about the popcorn collab, there's like slight audio desync that I can always tell, especially since I have another version and the. <sighs> The reason that happened is very strange. I was having a really hard time rendering it, and I got Star to render it. And when Star rendered it, it desynced in certain areas more than others, and it just came out kind of weird. But no one, no one else notices really besides like me. So it's whatever, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> that's that is weird. I haven't heard of like audio desync from. Well, actually, I lied. It's happened to me once. 
don't know what the hell happened, man. Vegas is a uh, Vegas will do whatever the hell it wants. <laughs> so I'm not surprised. Have you guys like continually made like found new tricks and techniques then through the years or? Oh yeah, yeah. you're telling me. I've oh, I've, yeah. I've been through the the ringer and back of having Vegas be stubborn and not render things and trying to render things in chunks and trying to render things as uncompressed AVIs and trying <laughs> anything and everything to make it work. I'm serious. The Funky Town collab was oh, literally uploaded as like a 70 gig unpressed, unpressed <laughs> AVI because I couldn't get to work any other way. Holy I'm not shit. shitting you. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking insane. But even like, even like little like tips, like recently, so you know, you know how you can, um, like uh screen flip you can go event pan crop right click uh flip horizontal and then you can right. copy that and then paste event attributes for like mm -hmm. every other yep. yeah. zarlable just found out about that like a month ago what, <laughs> what? <laughs> i know zarlable, what the fuck? <laughs> that was my that was my exact That's fucking painful. reaction what did he do zarlable. what Dude. I, I I think he said he said that he had different tracks for uh and then he used the track motion instead and then he had what? he had the clips on different tracks to screen flip what? if he forgot. I've been doing that since the beginning. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm pre <laughs> I'm pretty sure I found that out within the like the same month I started. <laughs> this is you, you don't let your friends know stuff like that, man. How no, did you go dude. That long? I'm what the fuck? My mind. I know. I, I feel was bad. I was, what happened? I was telling, uh, I was telling uh, Un Four, one of the Siva Gunner people, about it in the in the fan server, and he was just like, "Wait, what are you talking about?" And I was oh like, "What?" <laughs> oh my god. Oh, yeah, sorry, but I love you, but what the fuck? <laughs> How do I'm you so make visuals and have to do that too? <laughs> That's so tedious. That makes, that makes his videos even more as, uh, insane to I, think I, that he had to do that with every. I, I feel like control clicking every other one gets fucking tedious. Christ! Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. But I I didn't find find out about that till like uh, like really late 2017 I think, but like damn he's he's been doing it as long as you guys like. Oh fuck. yeah. But. I don't know. I mean, I'm still I'm still finding out like little things. YTP and viewers are very bad about trying to keep things secret from other YTP and viewers, especially back in the day when there was a lot of yes. like tension for some no reason yeah. or friction yes. rather is a better word. Like yeah, people didn't want people to know how to make better videos back in the yeah, day in that community. That's, that's so shitty. Like part of it, like I. I I didn't talk to a lot of people when I first started, or anybody really. It took me quite a while to start talking to different people. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm kind of proud that I found out a lot of the stuff on my own. But at the same time, it just, like, just help other people. Like, why, why do you... I know it's not a thing anymore, but back then, for sure, it just, like, people did not want you to make videos. Mm-hmm. Boy, let me tell you, did I get spoon fed? I didn't like learn anything. I'm like, <laughs> 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 fucking Star and Dan just taught me like everything convenient for the most part. I found a couple of things on my own, but everything really convenient. Like, have you ever messed with velocity before? That's good stuff. What, uh, <laughs> yeah. Velocity, as in like, uh, like what? What is that? It's uh, a thing you can bring up in Vegas that will like slow down, speed up the clip, like without having to like stretch it, or you can even like reverse it. I think, but it's it's a pain in the ass you, if you want to manually you, do it. You can freeze frames without having yes. like take an image. Oh, and yeah, what like the that. fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that that would be nice to know. Yeah, uh, just put like velocity zero and you stretch it out, and it will stay at the frame you want instead of having to screen cap in best quality every time to get like a gap you want of just a still. Oh yeah. well, what what I've always done is I would I would you know like separate it. This this is probably why some of my vegs are so large, but um I would like you know press U to to separate the video, and I would I would take out the the last frame and I would stretch it as far as I go, and then cut the frame one like the first frame of that. <laughs> And then I'll just control C, control V. That oh, no. a shit uh, I mean, that'll work, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> it it, it made it made Vex like a lot more unstable. Yeah. Like I I just recently have been uh, not just recently like early 2018 I found out about like uh or mid 2018 I found out about like alt 
click dragging to like move around within a clip oh, and yeah. oh it saves so much time it's so yes, nice it does. but the the amount of people that i met who whose first uh like white pmv like how they learn through uh sergeant scrub noob's tutorial is insane <laughs> that, really that's that's funny. I, yeah. yeah. That was not a horrible tutorial. I don't really no, remember it, completely it watching it because like, it wasn't for me, but it, it got everything yeah. down you'd need, I think. Yeah. It was like the absolute yeah. basics, but it, it was like, it was, I always, like, looking back, it's always kind of funny because um, he, he, like, explains, like, track motion for, like, the entire thing and, like, a bit of motion blur. And then he, like, shows how to white PMV for, like, a, for, like, a minute and then and then that's that's it like he spent the whole thing on like masking and track motion i think but oh that's that's why i've been kind of uh i keep putting it off but i've been wanting to make like an intermediate one because there really isn't an, any intermediate ones like you either you either learn by yourself or somebody's nice enough to show you yeah, pretty much yeah. <laughs> there's not there's not great great tutorials i mean we're basically making voodoo magic in Vegas. Vegas does not <laughs> want us to be doing what we're doing with the program, man. It, we're not supposed to be doing this with it at all. Not at all. What's been the most frustrating project for you? We'll start with you, Dan. Oh, God. Um, probably, honestly, something older because I kind of, you know, learned how to put up with Vegas's bullshit and... Because I used to do everything all in one Vegas. Um, so that wasn't ever fun. Um, God, I can't think of like a, a particular project, but like other than anything multi-source, Vegas does not like it when you have a lot of sources in one project. That's when you yeah. start getting like flickering uh, sources and everything. Um, yeah, I can't pinpoint as that exact project because I kind of learned how to put up with it, and like all my videos now are rendered in very small chunks that I kind of just Frankenstein together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I have to do with certain projects when they just like refuse to render. Right. What about you, Rob? I can point to one. I'd say, um, <laughs> funnily enough, the What Is Love collab. My my goal with that one was to try to use at least for the the lead oh, yeah. was to use a different source for every note and i was throwing it avis i was just throwing like whatever into the damn thing and yes it, it, it exploded it <laughs> barely worked it wasn't working at all i didn't like use separate vagues to make visuals it was an absolute disaster it was probably the biggest learning experience to have to like you know, deal with Vegas's crap when it like refuses to render or hiccups or makes all the flickering on all that stuff. It was it was a mess, but I got through it and I learned a lot. And I can basically like there even even my recent video it was giving me hell trying to render it. And I've I've been through it all. I can Vegas <laughs> is not gonna stop me from rendering a fucking video. It isn't. I've seen it all. So yeah. I'll I'll I'd... add. Sorry. Um, no, go ahead. Just as a recent thing, uh, the very short chainsaw effect I did in my Evil Dead video took fucking forever. It was like the best idea and worst idea I've ever done. I mean, it looked really cool. But yeah, that sucks. The, no. that... When I saw it, I was like, "Holy shit!" I was like, Hell. <laughs> that, it was. I took probably like probably a full week of just my brain exploding trying to finish this no i would not have the patience for that dude yeah i almost scrapped it but i'm glad i didn't have you guys tried or considered learning after effects at all or, or have you just been either like too lazy or just didn't care enough I, I that idea always pops up a lot it even has recently but i'm i'm far too picky and lazy to learn a new program i and i kind of just like vegas style visuals i guess um yeah, th yeah there's there's definitely some stuff that i know would be a lot easier in after effects but like i, I don't know i just and i still might in the future but i i'm i'm content with shitty ass vegas mm-hmm I dipped my toes in 2011 and used it for like one video to do literally nothing, something I probably could have done in Vegas and might probably definitely, and it wouldn't have even been hard. I actually, I think, 
two years ago at this point. Yeah, I have a video that's unfinished. I might as well just publish just flat out because it's 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 not finished visually, I guess, but it's been done audioly for two years and it basically has visuals. But I was using that as like trying to use uh, After Effects to make visuals on a white TPMV and I kind of just, uh, I, I reinstalled or I put Windows 10 on my computer or something and I had to reinstall and I just gave up, I didn't care. But I do need to learn it still. I like I would like to dip my toes back into After Effects again. It's a cool program. Um, I will say this though, not not all, but a lot of white TPM readers who try to use it try to do kind of like weird, like flashy, like I am using After Effects. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> stuff with it. I don't think people have really like used it well for white TPMV, I guess I'd say. Maybe that's a little bit uh uh, jaded to say perhaps but I don't think they've done anything super interesting or unique with it rather for YTPMV specifically I mean I've, I've, I really Triforce so Diarrhea has done some kind of neat stuff but no one's really pushed it with After right. Effects it's usually like I made a flashy mad look at this yeah. look at this random it's one track it's it's one picture kind of going around look at this like it's random not like 3D it's not a traditional looking thing like like, they put a lot of effort into doing one kind of thing, but they don't have all the tracks. It doesn't look yeah. like a traditional YTPMV. Yeah. And I'm not trying, I'm not, I mean, here's the main thing. YTPMV is about having fun. You know, that's that's the bottom line. And if they're having fun, they're making that people like it, that's fine. But that's, you know, that's just my opinion. I don't think people have made a traditional looking YTPMV with all the tracks and used After Effects super well. Um... But I can point to one. Dazi and Bacon made one called like Pizza, pizza Sidewalk Pizza Street 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 oh, yeah. or something like that. That one's that. a good example, I'd say. Other than that, I can't yeah, really point to any. That yeah. That, that video is incredible. Like, <laughs> definitely, definitely one of my top ones. Yeah, I, I kind of agree. That's always been something that's irked me as well, is just like not having all the tracks because I feel like that's necessary for the most part. Like, you know, you, you don't always have to show everything, but like, yeah, I like to, you know, the kind of point is you're making audio out of this stuff. You kind of want to show what you're, you know, we're working with for the most part, right? Like that, that's just kind of how well, I Well, what I do yeah, in my I videos a lot, personally, like throughout the video, you know, I show all the percussion and bass and everything, but not like every part. Like you don't always have to show it, but at some point people, you know, you, you should show people what you're using yeah not, yeah not hide it through the whole thing what uh how how do you guys get um like your visual ideas because that's been that's been something that i've been trying to develop and it's always like i i it's always like perplexed me on like what i should do visually i i, I can always think of like funny watch pmv ideas with like dumb sources or whatever but like getting something to look really neat visually uh has always been something that i just don't really get i have over the years have i've done a lot of noodling sometimes just messing around in vegas is all it takes honestly but i've done all sorts of things i've literally grabbed out piece of paper wrote down kind of like what i'm dealing with like uh, two percussion one bass blah, blah blah you know just all that stuff uh chords and i try to like draw a picture and kind of like place like where all the parts are kind of gonna go i'll do that sometimes and i think a good rule is you want to have simple simple is good but you kind of want it dynamic you want it to move a little bit and yeah. you don't want to stay on something for too long so yeah. that's why me and dan do this a lot we'll just kind of like we'll make like a visual part and then go to another and then another you know you kind of like fly through a couple because you can make something really cool but if it's for the whole video and that's all it does that's all you do yeah. right yeah like, sometimes three simple parts are better than one really crazy yeah, one, right? Yeah. Right, which I will throw out. I, I definitely was inspired by Bowen Casey, Kainsey for yeah. uh, just how often he swat, it swatches, <laughs> he switches his uh, parts up. Bowen's been great. Bowen did good stuff for a long time yeah. and I think had a early handle on pretty good visuals. Oh, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Bowen's, like, early visuals were something that, I'm I'm sure well I inspired me and I'm sure like a lot of other people, but um I think I think the coolest going back to After Effects uh I was gonna mention this I think like the coolest thing that I've seen with After Effects is like uh, uh I think like Aiden 
Aiden did this a couple times. It's just like, oh, fuck, I dropped my visuals. And then they just, like, with gravity, <laughs> all go to the bottom of the screen. I don't know. That, that shit always gets yeah. me. I think that's so funny and cool. I can't think of what video that is, but I know exactly what you're talking about. I like that. Oh, I did. Yeah. yeah. But I think in terms of, like, Vegas visuals, I like, Keizu and him developing his own style oh, is just, <laughs> just insane. Like, him, like, you can see progressively ever since, like, um, 2013 and Lunk, like, just progressively develop, like, his own style. And it's just so fucking cool to see that. Oh, yeah. They make such long videos of long visuals too. They're yeah. lunatic. What the fuck? I, I I can't believe I even made like a, a three minute video once. Like I, he's ridiculous. Yeah, I I've like my cap out is like usually like a minute, and then I'm like ah render it. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> I I was scratching my head when I made my recent video. Again, I brought this up like three times, but it was like two almost two minutes. So I was like looking through my videos like. I don't think I've ever made it this one this long. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as like visual ideas, pretty much what Kyle was saying, um, 80% of it is just messing around, just like trial and error, kind of, does this look good? No, yep. does this look good? Move this here. It, it, that's it. Other than that, like I have written down some a little bit, like he said. <laughs> Honestly, mm. ideas have come from weird things i've gotten visual ideas from dvd menus i've gotten That's visual cool. ideas from my girlfriend's <laughs> leggings design i've gotten i've gotten visual ideas from commercials like it's just random things be like that would look fucking cool with a ytp and v i'm going to copy that <laughs> <laughs> oh also again um i think a good idea if you're really trying to do some visual stuff is just watch a bunch of YTP. Oh, movies. for sure. Like, you can get some ideas or kind of copy what someone was kind of going for and tweak it, you know? Like, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy just to kind of, like, look at someone's video and go, ooh, I kind of want to do something like that, and then you kind of see if you can do it and then put your own spin on it or something. For sure. You know, I, I have a video out there that I feel... I, I've told a couple of people this before, and like they they're always like, oh, I don't, I, oh, I kind of see it, but like I watched this one Bowen video, the way that they had all their clips set up and everything, and I felt like I copied it like directly, but it doesn't even really look like it did. Like, sometimes <laughs> it just be like yeah. that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's my space cuba club. Yeah, but... <laughs> Yeah, I need to rewatch that collab. That one's pretty good. That's a yeah. weird one. That's a funny yeah. collab that, because it was like that has a history I, I, behind it. Yeah, I like finished my audio like actually on time, like basically for once, and like it was basically done when they wanted it to be done, and then I like had a collab with myself basically, and I made the visuals way later. It was really weird. <laughs> that that collab went through hell and back, and somehow made it out. I guess we could go through like different phases, but who do you think was uh, inspiration for you guys, like visually, audio, ideas, whatever, like through the years? Uh, we'll start with you, Dan. Oh, so many different people, honestly. Um, Zarbable, I think, is honestly number one. Um, I, I've probably honestly copied him a few times. <laughs> uh, he He's a big inspiration for sure. Um, Fezzy Fay is also a really big one for me. Mm -hmm. um, I really love his videos. I loved his style back then. I wish he would come back. Um, Star is another big one. Bowen for sure, for sure, for sure. Bowen, I he especially liked to doing different visual segments that was straight up ripped just right right from him. Um, not really visuals, but not even video style at all. But I, I have to always give a shout out to Faison. He just, anytime he uploads anything, I'm just like, I, it makes me love Y2P and V again. Yeah. And like I said, I, I don't do his type of style at all. I love his style, but I, I, I don't do that type of style. But he always inspires me to work on more stuff. <laughs> That's cool. Also in Sector. Shout out to oh, Sector. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sector was a big one of my one big, 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 yeah. big ones for me. Yeah, pretty similar. Um, yeah, no, a lot of people close to me. Star definitely, Purple Sky, Dan, even obviously. Like, you've always made crazy visuals and inspired me to try to do stuff like that. And you've even helped me. So yeah, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of people early on, like 
um, you know, Mexican sunflower quaid early on was a big inspiration to kind of make YTP and me in general. Commander Glonim oh, yeah. was a huge inspiration early on because I thought when I was when I was a little little boy watching the YouTube poop, I thought <laughs> that guy was fucking god because it was like dude he can make white cpv and youtube poop like, oh, fuck he can do it all <laughs> that's another yeah. big one for me back in the day joey classic is another big one back in the day i don't know how many people know joey oh classic, yeah but yeah he, he really inspired me to do white cpv everybody knows that seal vid i'm sure oh yeah yeah that's that's always the one that i think of anyway and like lastly, I basically already said this earlier, but Anthony is the one who keeps me making videos kind of period because he's ridiculous. Mm. He just puts <laughs> out hilarious shit and gets those creative juices flowing in my head even. Yeah. I, I don't know how he does I don't, it. I don't know either. <laughs> I, don't, I don't fucking know at all. He, he, he's like, I'm pretty sure it's blatant, but he's definitely my biggest influence as well. Just because of like, <laughs> damn, I don't get I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how. He could think of some of these, some of these ideas and sentence mix ideas. He's he's ridiculous. I I'm so happy I was able to collab with him. Yeah, that video was really good, by the way. The cheese -ex scan. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'm still glad that like dumb jokes like that are still going after like all these years. <laughs> you you can thank Kyle for uh, vague replacing Cheezosaurus Rex into a shark scan. <laughs> It's true. I, I accidentally basically made she's a scan like a, a thing, I guess. <laughs> now, years later, this is what we got. So for she's a scan, did, um, you did all the visuals for it? Right. Okay. Uh, like some of the, some of the stuff in Vegas, like still, like some of that stuff still perplexes me. How, how some of that's done in Vegas and a, you have how, how people have the patience for that and B how like, <laughs> How it looks so fucking good. <laughs> yeah. I also need to add he has a fucking toaster of a computer just to make <laughs> things even more ridiculous. I have never had a good computer in my whole life. How? That's insane. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I'm Kyle can has heard plenty of words come out of my mouth whilst trying to make videos. <laughs> I I want to say I have the patience, but because I really don't. But. I guess maybe you definitely do. Maybe <laughs> maybe this will at least show people why it takes me a year to make something. <laughs> Cause I, I have no excuse. <laughs> I, I I don't know. I just I, I just really like white P and V, so I just try to give it my all as much as Vegas and my lack of a good computer fights me for my whole life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So uh, obviously, I I think pretty much. Uh, everybody except for like M Maker, who I just recently had on, is, like pretty much everybody got into White's PMV at like a pretty young age. Uh, so did your did your parents when you were younger like let you roam free on the internet and like through all these chats, or did they like try to restrict you or whatever? Because I asked this because, uh, like for me, uh, like I could never, like I was constantly being like hovered over. They're like, "What are you doing? What are you doing?" And, it made it like it made it pretty hard for me to get into it when I was younger when I actually wanted to. So uh, I guess I'll start with you, Rob. Like, was that ever an issue? Uh, like when making like YTPMV, mostly not because I kind of started because I got my own <laughs> MacBook laptop that I literally <laughs> put boot camp on to get Windows to like make YTPMVs and play Steam games and shit. Which, it was not a very good computer, but it, like, you know, it worked and I could do stuff. But before that, like, kinda, but not really. I had to use the family PC, but I had my own kind of, like, you know, like, user profile or whatever. And they wouldn't hover over me, but my parents are kind of that way. Mm -hmm. it, a mix, I guess. But, like, when I got my own laptop, I was kind of off on my own. Oh, so not sense. really. Um, that... What what would you think is like the average age that somebody got into y YTP or YTP and V? Well, I guess j just using like like me as an example, like I started watching, uh, like eleven or twelve started watching, and then I actually started making when I was like thirteen, fourteen. 
That's kind of what I. Yeah, that's about right for me too. Yeah. So, because I, because I, I feel like I got it in a little late. Um, because it was like fourteen, fifteen for me. Because I'm, an old tuber. Uh. So 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 you were like kind of at the age where it just didn't really matter as much. Pretty much, but I also did not have access to the internet for quite a while. I, I just lived pretty much my whole childhood childhood without really full access to the internet. So that was, I really didn't have my own computer or anything until like 2005, 2006. Mm. So I was already kind of 12, 13, just getting on the internet. Yeah. So, and then by then I wasn't really, yeah, my parents didn't care. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's fucking crazy that you you made that shit on like some old MacBook and you're, you're <laughs> still making white's pmvs on some shitty old computer it it took me till 2012 to upgrade from oh, that God. Too, by the way. i i <laughs> i just uh use computers until they die on me and i usually get handouts <laughs> um spy, uh, kyle can uh stick up for this um when i was making spies like you with tv box my laptop at that time was like literally burning alive it was dying um and i kept just like pray just like please let me finish this video before you die just please it was like the day or two days after i oh geez god damn it was Come like here, fuck off <laughs> <laughs> it was like the day or after i uploaded that video that my laptop just died and i I lost everything on that. God, that sucks. So yeah, the spies like you killed my computer. <laughs> Thank you, TV Box. Yeah, yeah. Blame blame TV Box for that one. <laughs> Shout out TV Box. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah, I know. Like the fact that they're back making like they they made like a TF2 vid recently, right? If I'm re- remembering correctly. Uh, they they have some uh, scraps. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. That's what uh, it is. And then uh, she was showing some unfinished stuff, so kind of yes, kind of no mm, back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, you mentioned that you don't really make, like, the Faison kind of videos, like, joke kind of videos. Is that is that just mostly because you can't think of ideas in that sense? Or is it more so just, like, you wanna you only want to put out, like, more serious content? It's most. It's a little both. Um, I mean, I, I guess I I can't say I don't make any joke videos because I you know I have stuff dumb stuff on my all like I have that uh, <laughs> Lady Gaga video that got really popular. Mm. Um, uh, Gaga kids and I I just I don't shine in that area at all. That's how I feel about that. Um, I I have more fun making full serious videos i appreciate all the joke kind of phase on and your type of videos but it's just not where i shine yeah i kind of just stick to what i'm good at i guess yeah yeah i will say making things like anthony makes is very hard and ridiculous like (laughs) i think just about every time i've made a full video or like had a like good chunk of that stuff it's like I'm just bullshitting around and like throwing clips into Vegas and it just happens to work. A lot of times when I sit down and in my head have an idea, it doesn't work. It almost never works when I like think, oh, this is going to be so funny. Yep. This is going to work. I put it down. It just doesn't even work. Yeah. 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 That, that's that's kind of similar for me. I just, I just kind of throw shit together and then sometimes it like sometimes it's funny. I don't know. <laughs> I think that's just YouTube poop in general. Sometimes oh, yeah. it's funny. Sometimes it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Like um one of my one of my IRL friends growing up, like uh he him and I would constantly go back and forth with like uh YTP and YTP and V when we both got into it. And uh then like as of recent, like we're we becoming friends with like another person and he he's like he knows of all of white's pmv but he just does, he's like sometimes he'll just be like i just don't get it <laughs> he'll just be like i like the, i like the cute anime but i just don't get how this is funny i'm like yeah yeah that's fair it's kind of you kind of just have to get it to get it yeah I guess. it's definitely if we're going back to like youtube poop it's definitely like a required taste i think mm-hmm. um and before youtube poop i was really into uh uh you're the man now dog Mm. Uh, YTMND 
and so I think my humor kind of just translated over really well from that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I'll show some of my friends and family members, like, different YouTube poop stuff and Y2P and V stuff, and they they never get it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you saw the that um one, my tweet that I had, but uh, on the last or on M Maker's episode of the White PMV podcast, his dad commented on it and left like a really really nice comment saying like, "Oh, we didn't get it at first, but we appreciate it and everything." And I was <laughs> like, "Well, oh, that what the fuck? That's so cool." That is, I did see I, that. I, That's yeah, really neat. That. That, is, that is really cool, especially since um. <laughs> Kyle has a good um, story of showing his dad, but um, uh, uh, I'll let him get to that in a second. Um, The only time I showed my mother when I back when I lived with her, I I think it was like Red Flash Redemption or something. I showed her that she sat quietly through the whole thing, watched it, and then she turned to me and just like, "Did you finish all your schoolwork?" <laughs> and so <laughs> that, that's the one and only time I showed my parents my videos. <laughs> God, I've I've never showed my parents like anything serious, but there was this one time I was like sleep deprived or something, and I was literally just messing around with like the polar bear source and. In Vegas, and I was just trying to make it make the most horrible sound possible, and I literally just <laughs> handed my dad my earbuds and played it for some reason. He got mad at me, and I was like, ow, that hurt. <laughs> I think that's about all I've done. My brother knows everything I do, though, and Uh-oh. he gets it, of course. Yeah. He's a speedrunner, so. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, I live with my girlfriend, and she's really into it now, and she actually gives me some... Uh, uh, video uh, visual ideas every now and then so that's pretty cool yeah that is really really cool speaking of that that's always been like an issue for me i've always wondered how to like bridge the gap of like oh i also make like usually i just say oh i make dumb shit posts just to like <laughs> like whenever like i'm talking to a girl but it's like i could never you know you could never like fully bring it up without it just being like what the fuck like that's weird yeah you know, I think I actually showed my ex girlfriend that, and she was semi impressed by it. But I don't know if she really got it. But yeah, you know, I guess that's something that happened. Yeah, have, I have... will. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna. I was just gonna add. Uh, I will say my girlfriend got really sick of Obama videos. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad it's like it. It definitely went for as long as it should have. Like, I'm glad. I'm yeah. Glad it didn't, like, it overstay or anything the good the good couple weeks was good i, I think it's done now <laughs> yeah yeah I, I i think i'll always use the come and get him obama source so like that'll never <laughs> leave my source collection that that one's really fun yeah, it's yeah. just that one's yeah that one's really good and that was used way before all this anyway oh yeah so. of course everyone's seen andrew's plock one. Mm. Oh yeah <laughs> but uh I, I guess I was going to ask, like, have, have either of you considered, uh, like, I guess I don't know if you have, but uh, doing, like, video editing as, a, as, like, an avenue for a career or anything or, like, freelance at all? Or have you just kind of ol- only stuck with it as a hobby? I've mostly had it into a hobby until now, but I'm interested in doing such. I just don't know if that's really going to go through or not. Um, like, Anthony has, like, kind of, like, commission stuff that he does from time to time and like i think it'd be kind of cool if i could do something like that but it's like it's no big deal if i don't you know yeah I, i'm definitely in the same as that boat um it would definitely be cool to be paid for doing something that i like of course but i don't know it's just if something comes up that would be great and i i've definitely thought about commissions i've even talked to anthony a little bit about it because he does them and it could still be something that i might do but it yeah pretty much what kyle said i will or won't (laughs) it's not that big of a deal to me i'm just glad that people people realize at all that you know you you actually can do something because like constantly throughout the years it was always youtube poop doesn't pay the bills (laughs) and i'm it's just really cool to see people make money from it you know, I I think there are a lot of skills 
with video editing or maybe even, you know, like maybe get into music or something off of mm -hmm. YTPMV. I don't think it's like useless or anything like some people like kind of try to paint it. And I mean, Chab has literally said that he has paid some bills with YouTube poops. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Has, has that commission thing been going pretty well for Anthony? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Anthony's pretty popular. He he does a lot of like silly stuff on Twitter. He's really he's got followers. Yeah, yeah, um, for sure. I, I do not. <laughs> I, I, I do not have anything on Twitter. <laughs> so where where do you think YTPMV will be in the next few years? Because I'm 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 pretty sure everybody was in the same boat in 2015, 2016. Oh, YTPMV's dead. It's gonna die out in the yeah. next few years. <laughs> and, oh yeah. And and now and now it's alive and well and probably just had like its biggest fad so where do you where do you think it'll be in the next uh couple years or even past that uh i'll start with you dan man i don't know um honestly i i see it being exactly where it is now uh i mean it's it has its like peaks in popularity i mean we don't need to mention mlp um yeah uh under undertale uh it keeps having its peaks but it for the most part it i mean it's getting a little more popular and twitter's kind of been helping a little bit but like it it kind of just in my opinion stays the same i feel like um it always like goes back to where it was originally i mm -hmm. i mean i imagine we'll have our next big mlp thing or whatever um but yeah, every time something like that hits, it just kind of dies back down again. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going anywhere. It's not gonna fucking die. There's no reason for it to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't see it because like even whenever whenever I listen to a new song, like I just automatically my brain switches into like okay oh, source God. mode. What yeah, source is gonna use? You're telling me my <laughs> brain is ruined. That is the YTT every every curse. song I listen to. Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's a blessing and a curse. But uh, I sometimes just see things screen flipping in my head. <laughs> and yeah, like my my brain, like I I don't know anything about music. I'll be honest, I I I don't. I don't know keys or anything. I just hit plus or minus on my keypad until it matches the song. Um, mm -hmm. But like every time I listen to a song now, my brain instantly like pulls apart every track. And like I can hear every single instrument just immediately, and I like instantly think, "Oh, this fucking TF2 sample would sound great here." Like, it, <laughs> it, it, I'm ruined forever. Yeah. So where where do you think it'll be, uh, Kyle? I think that it most likely will be in a similar state, but I think to talk about this type of thing is to talk about how much youtube has changed and yeah. how if if anything if you ask me i don't think you know people said ytp me is dead i think youtube killing the community yes. aspect and seeing what people like and this oh, and that really yes. hurt yes really hurt ytpmv really 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 bad because that's the way like new ytp mirrors that get you know shared around and this or that and i i could go on and on forever about how like that how much that sucks and how that has like really lowered ytp views views all around on youtube i think for ytp and me the growth and that's already started to happen is i think it needs to move to another platform i think twitter is pretty good for example and there are things that are getting really popular and you also have to think about there are a lot of things that people who make these videos who basically make ytp and v's but they don't even know they're making ytp and v's you know what i mean oh, like 100 video remixy stuff like stuff that's just basically flat out ytp and v on twitter to go super viral I think in the next couple of years, it could probably get pretty popular, like on another platform, perhaps not traditionally, like in the way, you know, the community is and stuff now. I think YouTube might kind of stay the same and the people kind of be doing what they're always doing. But I think there's going to be some big breaks somewhere with the type of idea, but maybe on a different platform, perhaps, yeah. you know. It, it's up in the air anything could happen really like yeah honestly but i think as far as it on youtube the why and ytp and v needs to be crossed out fuck youtube <laughs> honestly man. like yeah he 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 pretty much summed it up just getting rid of video responses and the activity yeah. feed and what people like it 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 really did 
take a huge chunk out of white to pnv <laughs> yeah yeah you could just look at like uh pels for instance like that was that was pretty much the reason why pels just kind of disappeared and stopped making videos was like the moment they got rid of that it was like all inspiration gone and like even way back like my most popular like my most popular video on the great big baloney was because rice not commented on it and then it got like 40k views right. because of that right and, yeah like, like and you now had a great community aspect to it i think mm -hmm. like they claim that no one used it and like maybe that is true in the great analytics of it all, but like that really like hurt our community bad. I think at least on YouTube specifically. Yeah, yeah, I would I would definitely agree. Twi it Twitter sucks. is good, but I think the biggest thing is that it's really hard to go back and watch videos. Yes, YouTube is good at archival. Twitter yes. is like in the moment, fast, fast, yeah. fast. And if it, I, like people didn't watch a video that day, you're kind of you know, it's, you're fucked. It's yeah. done. <laughs> You could try to like re retweet things, but it's like it, yeah, it doesn't really it work. It doesn't really work. It stinks. Yeah. It's kind of lame. We've kind of moved past what it used to be with that community aspect being kind of destroyed. But I mean, you know, I'm glad that there's a lot of people making it and having fun. And, you know, like oh, yeah. at least YTP and Rears and people who are fans of are still kind of like watching it. But I feel like the view count has really been hit because of that. Yeah. I would, I would agree with that. Because it was it was very it wasn't uncommon for a video if it was if it if it was like somebody's first video and it was really good just to hit like one K in like a day or two. Oh, yeah. You could you could get a bazillion subs in one day because oh, yeah. people found your fucking video and thought it was really cool and it's like your first thing, but now no, it doesn't really work that way. I like yeah. and just on a personal level, like I have what, like over 20,000 subscribers on YouTube and none of my videos even hit half that number now like people just aren't seeing shit on YouTube that, it's just that's sucks. also true they they yeah. the, the, you know the whole hit the bell thing yeah. is a thing for a reason because YouTube's algorithm has just gotten really obnoxious on I, top of everything I've yeah. been I, I sorry I was just gonna say I mean I love YouTube to dev just for like all the sea of content and creators but it's just God, it feels like it's like just falling as far as like being as neat as it used to be. It's not YouTube anymore, you know. It's right. not for you. It's for who they've catered it to. Pretty yeah. much. Like I, I've been making videos pretty steady, at least steady for me for the past two years, and I still get like two dozen comments on them saying, "You're still alive? I thought you were dead." Like I mean. Yeah. <laughs> There's things like I made a video last month that are just like you're still alive. YouTube sucks. <laughs> yeah, YouTube YouTube does suck. There's there's been a lot of times where, um, which is kind of funny. I'm glad that everybody's like uh, uploading videos on both Twitter and YouTube, right. but sometimes people don't upload videos to YouTube, and it really sucks because it's like, damn, all I want to do is just see like an archival of that. Exactly. Maybe maybe. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I, sorry, I was just going to say, you have to, like, skim through, you know, your how many likes you have on Twitter just to find a video again. <laughs> yeah. And that's yeah. even if you remember to like it. Yeah. I mentioned this in uh, the last episode with Aluminum, but, uh, like, my trick is is I just reply or leave the YouTube link with it. That way, if I ever want to search it up, I can just search the YouTube link and then I could find that tweet. Uh, yeah. if i ever need to and i hope that more people do that because then that would be really really useful but yeah um it 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 and then also like the fact that twitter isn't 60 fps is also <laughs> ugh, that part sucks a lot yeah it took me a while to uh figure out what setting to render something so twitter actually accepts it mm-hmm yeah. I had Comir knocking on my door, so forgive me if you kind of went over this, but, like, uh, like something that really stinks, though, is, like, for a while, I didn't, like, uploading my videos particularly to Twitter. I would just link a YouTube link. People don't click those, like, ever. Nope. They don't watch YouTube videos on Twitter. Yeah. They, they want the video video, and it's lame, because it's, like, YouTube's so much better, but no one's going to click on it. Yeah. It does suck, but... Oh well, uh, this is just the state that we're in, and I guess yeah. I guess yeah. it's like maybe maybe Vidly, this is Vidly's year, maybe. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. I would I would jump on board. But did you see that YouTube just got like re 
resurrected. <laughs> Funnily enough, yes. Yeah, <laughs> I was reading that right before this started. God, dude, what the fuck? Leave it <laughs> dead. God damn it. What a bad Doppley. Didn't they watch Anthony's video? Yeah. It's dead. Go away. <laughs> Doppley, just fuck off. Please, please, fuck off. <laughs> But yeah, we're we're at like uh about an hour now, so is there anything else you guys want to bring up uh for before we close it out? Any anything else you want to talk about? I said a lot and I mean I think again, I, I basically mentioned this, but the bottom line with YTPMV is like you know, we talked about all the stuff all the the current state of it, like getting views and like the platforms kind of aren't all great but just just have fun make your oh, stuff yeah. and if you have an audience you have friends who like it you know just go do it man don't let anyone who is going to be negative or like or just a few couple of people who are being negative or you know like i i don't know how the younger people are in the community these days you know i don't really keep up but like if people are being kind of you know toxic and irritating don't let them get you down man if, if if you have a lot of people who are mostly enjoying your video just do it just have fun doesn't matter what you're doing just have fun mm -hmm. you know and yeah yeah basically like pretty much what kyle was saying like don't let anybody get you down like when i first started i was tone deaf as fuck i couldn't pitch anything i don't even know <laughs> how but like and there's one video in particular that is not around anymore, of course, um, that I did almost quit. I'm not going to call anybody out because some people are still actually active in the community and they're people that I look up to and everything. But, like, I made this really awful Shurik scan video back in the day. Um, and it just instantly got flooded by, in my opinion, big name people that just said it, this is shit, like, stop making videos. And I almost quit there and just, but I mean, I had fun. Like I, I don't, I, at that time I didn't care. Like it bothered me for probably a few days, but I just came back and kept doing what I was doing and eventually, you know, just got better. Like just make yeah. videos for yourself, make videos for your friends. Like it, don't fucking care what people say. Just do what you want. Yeah. 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 And I feel like that's more of a product of our time now, too. I don't think, like, all the people who you'd call, you know, old school, no one like us is going to be mean on a video, I imagine, these days. So it probably hurt a lot more for you than it <laughs> does for a lot of these other people. I mean, I'm, I'm not really tuned in, and I don't want to make light if there is any, you know, like, some people who people look up to who's being mean to other people. Because, I mean, I was definitely that way. I mean, I mentioned earlier, you know, I kind of was, I like, the collapse and stuff. I was pessimistic. I would leave some rude comments from time to time if I got irritated or caught up in drama. You know, people, people just kind of do stuff like that. Just don't let it eat you up if you're having fun. If the majority of people... Are liking what you're doing, you know, fuck everyone else, right? Yeah. Even, even if oh, they're yeah. being named, fuck them, dude. Do Have not fun. let one person especially, but don't even let a handful of people, like, fuck you up. Even if they're all, like, big people you look up to, fuck them. If everyone else likes it, fuck them. Yeah, yep. pretty much. Just do what you want. If you want to make fucking My Little Pony Renard videos, go right ahead. Like, what? Yeah. Like, who cares? Do what you want. If you're having fun, It's YouTube do it. poop. It's, it has exactly, poop in the name. It's fucking <laughs> called poop. <laughs> yeah. Just, just have fun. Yep, yep. I like that. I like that a lot. Where where can everybody find you on Twitter and YouTube, if they if they somehow haven't seen your videos, uh, for you, Rob? Well, my Twitter is just that Rob Gooey, and my YouTube, I, oh God, is it still just the Epic Rob if you type I'm it in? Pretty Probably. sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's just crossed out in the character, but I bet if you type that in, you'll find me. Let's find out. Yep. Yeah. I'm just <laughs> the Epic Rob. <laughs> Uh, what is your header, by the way? My header? Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, for, I, for, I forgot. I forgot. Um, I had to remember what when, a header when was. When they introduced, yeah, no, God, I haven't thought about that in so long. When they changed that stuff, <laughs> I just, oh, I'm sure you just heard Comer. Hello, Comer. Um, <laughs> when when they introduced that thing, I was so irritated, did not want to put the effort in. I just took this really high res picture of this like this you know, just this black gentleman with a walrus at SeaWorld that I liked. I just put it there, you know, whatever, fuck it. 
and it's just still there. I probably need to change it. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's pretty it's funny. Probably not. It's, it's been there so it's long. It's so long now. Don't bother. <laughs> yeah, my the my alt quote unquote the great big baloney. Uh, it's the the fucking header for that has been this one picture of deeper cut for <laughs> for ever since it, the channel was created. It it's literally just that picture of deeper cut, and it says, "How can cannabis help your diabetes? Find out now." Oh, <laughs> <what is that? laughs> Why? I don't know. Too lazy to change it, and it's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just need the high res picture, and I, that that was one of them. So I did it. <laughs> That's funny. And then, how about you, uh, Dan? My uh, YouTube is DWL1993 because I'm really good at coming up with names. Um, and then my uh, Twitter is just DWL spelled out. <laughs> 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 yeah, if you search DWL1993 on Twitter, oh, I found I'm, it. I'm pretty sure it pops up as well. Yeah. There, there so. it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, no. That's a, that's a good pick. I haven't seen this full picture in years. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's funny. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Y2PMV podcast. Meeting Rob at MAGFest was one of the best experiences. The fact that he knew my name back in 2019 was something incredible to me. And DWL I've always looked up to as well. So having an opportunity to sit down and talk to him about this kind of stuff is simply amazing. I also want to mention, uh, I believe my Blue Yeti is fixed. So I can now finally use this with better quality. I'm looking to get a pop filter and everything and a stand, so everything hopefully will sound better moving forward. Once again, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon.